Algebra 1, 9.4b, Disjunctions and Inequalities. We can solve and graph inequalities involving absolute value, like the absolute value of A is greater than B. And yeah, the uh, inequality, the absolute value of X is greater than 2, is true for any amount farther than negative 2 or positive 2 on the number line. The X has a distance of more than 2 away from 0, whether it's negative or positive. We can graph this inequality and find the solution set. So it's greater than 2 away from 0. We just need 2 hops away, and we know that it's greater than that number. It doesn't include negative 2 or positive 2. See? It doesn't have the or equal. It's just greater than that distance. So we know that it's going to be less than negative 2 going this way because the smaller numbers we go into, the more negative we go, the smaller the number gets, right? And it's going to be greater a larger number on this side, right? If you want to write it like I do in Algebra 2, we use a parentheses. The open dot means it's not included, and that's what the parentheses also means, okay? So this is a disjunction. We're using the word or, and the solution is that x is less than negative 2 because it's going farther into the negative, or it's greater than 2 because we're going farther into the positive, see? The solution set is written in set builder notation. We use our set braces, and we put x with the such that bar, and we get this just placed inside of the set braces with the x and the such that bar. See, it's just copied right into there. And we read that as the set of all x such that x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than 2. See? So, to solve an inequality in the form the absolute value of a is greater than b, where b is positive number, we solve the disjunction See, disjunction is or, A is less than negative B, or A is greater than positive B. And the similar rule is true for a greater than or equal to when we've got absolute value and an inequality. See? So just remember, when the number's not included, we use the open circle, or as in Algebra 2, like I use, we use a parentheses. And if it is included, we use a closed dot, or in Algebra 2, we use the bracket, okay? So it says to solve and graph three, the absolute value of 3x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 5. So because it's the absolute value of this, we know that it could be a positive 5 or a negative 5. So we start by solving the disjunction separately. And we write it as 3x minus 8 is less than or equal to negative 5 because it's less than or equal to, see, the negative or it's greater than the positive. So if you can remember that when you're doing the disjunction, you have to flip the sign around for when it goes into the negative and it goes this way for the positive, okay? That'll help you write it. So we flipped it around this way for the negative 5, and we have it just as it is here for the positive 5, okay? So because it's minus 8, we know we can add 8 to each side, right? That created the 0 pair here. So we got 3x is less than or equal to 3, because negative 5 plus 8 is a 3. We made our friend the invisible 1, and we got x is less than or equal to 1 for this side. We added the 8 to each side, and we got 3x is greater than or equal to 13. 5 and 8 is 13. That became our friend the invisible 1 identity property, so we got x is greater than or equal to. You can keep it as the 13 thirds if you want. No big deal. You can even graph it that way. Or you can simplify it like I did to 4 and a third. So I showed the thirds in my number line. You can see here's 1, 1 and a third, 1 and 2 thirds, 2, 2 and a third, see? So here's 4 and a third. So because it's greater than or equal to it, I've got a closed dot going on 4 and a third and heading larger. And I've got it on the 1, because it's or equal, going into the negatives, see? And I've got two sections of the number line that are graphed. See that? And that's because of the word OR in between here. If you want to do it my Algebra 2 way, we put the box bracket facing that way, showing it's included, and going this way, showing it's included. And the solution set is written in set builder notation as just like this, or you could keep it in the fraction if you want, but it's written just like this with the set braces, the x, and the such that bar. See? We could keep it as the improper fraction if we want to. Just remember, 
that it cannot be written in a combined form like this because of the word or. We have to keep it open like this with the word or between it. Only conjunctions can be combined because of the word and. See? So this one is not like this. So you can't do that, all right? Now, in interval notation, if you wanted to write your solution in interval notation, for those of you that are a little bit farther ahead, because of this box bracket going this way into negative infinity, and this box bracket going to the right into positive infinity, that's how we would write our solution in interval notation. Just remember that infinity never has a bracket next to it. It always has a parentheses, okay? So we'd have negative infinity comma one, because that's where it's included, or whether you want it as a fraction or simplified, it would be this way with the comma, you know, in the bracket on that side, with the infinity for positive, and then the parentheses, okay? So our next video, 4.9c, I'm going to show you how to identify the conjunction inequality versus the disjunction inequality quickly so you know which way to solve the problem, okay? It's going to be a real short video, and you might already know already from watching the last two videos, but I'm going to spell it all out plain and clear, okay? And of course, if you've missed any of the previous videos or you want to review, all the links are going to be in this description. You can just click on them, okay? If you want to know about set builder notation, there you go. There's going to be a link, and it'll tell you how to do this, okay? If you want to know about the last couple of videos about conjunctions and inequalities and the absolute value, all right, it's going to be in there. All right, so I'll see you next video. Keep trying, keep your chin up, and I believe in you. We can do this. Bye.